What's up, guys? I just want to say thanks so much for all the support on the Freedom Factory videos. I also wanted to hop in and just point out we are going to be back on our normal race car content starting next week. There's been a ton of Freedom Factory content just to get things going. I never thought in a million years I'd be posting a lawn care video on the main channel, but I was going to make this video for the second channel, but the results were just so good with how the track turned out. I had to post it here. We're just freaking so excited. Thank you guys so much for this amazing week and all the love and support for the new track, but we'll be back to our racing programs like usual. Well, for now, enjoy some live action. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fun YouTube channel. Shut it down, I'll go check this thing out. It is through Dude, rips through it. How much better does it look already? It does. What's up? Hey. How is it? It's awesome. It's really nice. <laughs> it's so sick. It is terrific. All right, so guys, I gotta tell you a little story. Man, it's nice. If you there. watch the pace car video, at the very end of the video, you'll see a white truck pulls up in the back. We were just out at the Freedom Factory uh, trying to race the pace car around. Uh, we left the gate open. Well, fortunately, a really nice guy named Casey pulls up and he is with Everglades Equipment Group. And these guys said, hey, we wanna help you guys out. And they set us up with freaking all brand new John Deere equipment for the year. Like, the, <laughs> dude, I, like, I was speechless. I couldn't believe it. So these guys, they pulled up. That's why you probably saw this hat in, in the, uh, the other Cletus 2 channel video too. They're like, hey, look, you know, we love what you guys are doing. We love the track and we're gonna set you up. Look at this thing. It's a freaking beast. Dude, this thing is a full blown river right here. <laughs> they had it here in less than a day. So my dad is here and he's driving this around today. We are about to do some major cleanup here at the Freedom Factory. We're just doing kind of a private day to uh, get the lawn mowed and see where we're at. It's, uh, it's actually not in bad shape. When you have an eight foot bush hog deck, it goes extremely bad. I think you have the best job of the day. I brought yeah. a push mower, but I don't think anybody wants that. Adjusting your air ride seat. Adjusting the air ride seat. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the AC, it's got claw, Dude, AC, claw headliners. Sound system. It's got a radio. Man, those yeah. lights too up there. I, oh, dude, this is a fully loaded unit. And uh, wiper and all. I just want to say, you know, guys, we're super thankful for, for everybody. And so many people have contributed. But this was a huge one like we were really worried about the lawn and and how we were going to tackle this stuff and everglades equipment group these guys pulled up out of nowhere we didn't call them you know and they just came and, and made it happen i actually bought my mower from them like six months ago it's when i got my original john deere hat and uh i don't know so cool and then they got us a freaking zero turn so you guys got to see this thing so not only did they give us a tractor with a bush hog for the year you gotta see this thing Dude, it's a it's an absolute unit. Take BM, that's crazy. I know. And then over here in the shop, you'll see the freaking coolest zero turn mower I've ever laid eyes on. So just look at this unit. Man. Look at the tires, this one dude. More fully loaded than yours. It, dude, it is. It's got way more than the one I have in my house. Well, like the handles and stuff look different. Oh, they dude, it's bugs. got the electric lift deck. This thing is Damn. the bee's knees. Look at the tires. Can't yeah. pop the tires. That's pretty sick. Can I try? I got a knife. <laughs> Uh, highway use. It's got the freaking glide comfort seat that goes up and down when you go over bumps. It's definitely got more stuff than mine. Guys, also, this is Alec. He's going to be uh, the track manager and kind of full-time maintenance guy. Went to high school with this guy. He's from my hometown. We used to uh, be freaking best friends. And one of, our, one of my first ever viral videos was with Alec while we were snowboarding. So. Is that a rebel? No, you freaking narb cake. It's Shred Bull. That's great. <laughs> Shred the gnar, dude. Absolutely. And uh, so he actually moved down to Florida last week and is going to be working here, hopefully for the foreseeable future. Pretty exciting, dude. We got some oh, freaking yeah. really nice equipment to start off with. I'm excited, yeah. It's going to be fun. It's crazy. And then lastly, guys, uh, Everglades Equipment Group set us up with a brand new steel uh, weed eater and a, a backpack blower. So this is money that we don't have to spend on equipment and we can put it right into the track and it's a huge step for us. So, so shout out to Jeremy, 
at Everglades and Casey at Everglades, they kind of made this deal happen. And I made a post on the Cleesman for All on Facebook page and tagged their page. So if you guys want to go check it out, uh, you can see it. But it's just like we're freaking so excited. I can't even tell you. So I'm going to do some time lapses while my dad mows. And we're going to be working in the infield. We got like just so much crap to clean up. Our weed eaters are going to be bogging going through this stuff. And then another local company right here that uh, does some stuff over at the drag strip hit us up and they came over and they were like, we're gonna tackle the infield and get that place cleaned up for you. So today while all of us guys work, these guys just came out, three three guys donated their, their day to us and they're in the infield cranking away already. Weed eating on the track and just already working on the infield. Dude, that grass is pretty serious, so. It's definitely a, a lot of work, a lot of weeds to be cut up. A lot of weed eater wire to be shot, but uh, this is so cool, man. Local community of the Freedom Factory really stepping up and doing some awesome stuff for us. And the power's on, so we got our security systems up now. It's just all coming together, boys. So I'll show you guys the uh, the power on video very soon. I'm freaking stoked. So this is a ton of the stuff we're working on today. These weeds. All this good stuff is climbing the fence, and then it gets really rough down there. But then we also have a bleacher guy coming today, so a professional bleacher, so a professional bleacher guy that does bleachers for huge races like NASCAR and stuff. He's gonna come take a look at what we got, tell us what we need to do, how much it's gonna cost. You know the deal. Dang! <laughs> Woohoo, boys! All right, folks, so you can see the entire front of the track is done. The side hills are done. It looks beautiful. We even had some friends come. Brett Griffin and Heston are in the inner breezeway helping out with uh, Bronte and my girlfriend. My dad is in the front field. He is crushing it with the 5100E. Dude, just doing work with the bush hog. He's about halfway done. We decided not to bail this as hay because uh, there's like burrs in it. I mean, it's pretty nasty full of weeds pasture so uh he's getting it cleaned up those are some old bales right there but uh dude today has been awesome i just came over this because i was mowing out front that's normal right there right that's all i've ever seen i am speechless oh my gosh it looks so good dude it looks so good already oh my God. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo.
guys, a big progress alert right now. A Bronte over here brooming. We're just getting after it. Things are cleaning up. The bleacher guys is here. I got a report on the bleachers. Actually, pretty good news. Look at how magnificent. Oh, baby. So right now, we're kind of edging it up. See he's edging right there. But it is looking, but for now, it's looking fantastic. Oh, my. One day of lawn care. Boom. It looks. Good. Justin right hasn't up. been here all day. When I pulled up, it looked like already just looking at that looked really good. I like, know. The place looks awesome. Just wait till you see the infield. Hey, look at this. Look at the infield. Look at the wow. breezeway, dude. Wrapping up. Look at that infield, baby. Oh, oh just here to take some credit, are you? Uh. <laughs> you guys are working all day. <laughs> look at that. Really good. <laughs> wow. Dude, it came together so good. Oh. I don't think they can really tell on video. I don't know. I think they'll be able Dude, to tell. You're gonna be able to tell on video. Like you gotta be able to. It's just all the they pulled all the weeds out of the track and everything. Dude, they cut everything down. They did all the weeds on the track. It all needs to be sprayed. You can see the roots are still there. Yeah. But looks so damn good. Woo! Looks like a damn golf course. Dude, my dad went after it today. I'm surprised there's still orange field over there. <laughs> he just mowed down the freaking groves. Wow, man, that looks so good. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, guys, so we're driving to the front of the facility so we can almost drive in and see the difference. And dude, I mean, it looks so much better. I don't think you guys will really 100% be able to tell what we're seeing, but it looks like a whole new place right now. Yeah, just a day of yard work. One day of hardcore yarding. Here we go. Damn, that field too. Dude, the That's difference cool. in just the field is massive. And this stuff's gonna be cleaned up a little bit too. All right, so we're gonna come up here. And dude, just from here, I mean, everything. Yeah, it's all mowed. <laughs> I love it. So you got, this is all mowed. I mean, literally everything spectator is mowed. Lot. So you got your spectator lot. You can see where they had a little bit of gravel in the grass. Looks beautiful. And then we'll go around back before we go through the main area and show you that. This is all mowed, dude. Had to take the mower through the breezeway to get to this stuff. Because we couldn't get this lock open, but we're working on that. Dude. Oh, it looks so good. Mowed the back uh, bank of the track, which is pretty fun. I couldn't get the other bank, though. It was a little too intense. It is pretty serious. The other one, the back of it is not as gradual. I was looking at it, I was like, oh, it's going to be fun. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Dude, this is, there's some serious progress out back here, too. Woohoo! Hell yeah, all these weeds. Oh, so this hasn't been blown yet either. So you got a, a lot of grass shavings on the ground there, but it's 10 times better. Look at how good that cleaned up. That grass is nice. It's amazing how nice all this grass is for how bad it was. Yeah. Especially if, you know, a little bit more work. Couple more mows after some rain. Yep. And it turns green. A lot of weed whacking still. Mm. It's gonna be good. A lot of edging weed whacking. Yep. All right. Here's the best part. Dude, this this is spicy, boys. Wait till you see the infield. Yeah. It just looks so good. Stuff like that's not easy to get. Yeah, we got to weed black a lot more still. Man, how did it clean up that nicely? Just don't. I did not see that coming. Minus the extra shavings in a couple spots where it was real thick, it looks ready to go. I mean, it looks like we spent oh, I know. a month on it. Dude, those guys went to Yeah, town. dude, Josh down a lawn. Look at, no weeds in the corner of the track anymore. We do have to do the catch fence, but all the weeds off the track, I mean, that took the majority of the work. The trees that are gone out of that. <laughs> I know, the drain. I don't know how they even got Dude, that. Dude, they cleaned all the drains. All the drains are nice and open now, so we won't freaking flood this place. Surrounding that pole was really We thick. could barely get to I'm pretty sure they cut the weeds out of the inside of the tires. 
I'm, I'm pretty surprised. sure. Look at it that. Like There's no weeds on the track. We gotta spray the roots though. We gotta yeah. gotta get on that. And then once it's cleaned up on top of that wall too. Oh man. They did all the pulls all the way to the top. <laughs> this guy's gonna go hard. The edge, you know, once that's cleaned up a little bit more too, that's gonna look fantastic. Damn, did we buy a freaking golf course or a racetrack? Hey, you're getting what? You're getting uh, black flagged over there by Alec. I got black flagged by Alec. Yeah, dude, already he's black flagging me, dude. Yeah, that's it for going fast. Yeah, that was really intense, right? <laughs> that there. was so thick, dude. It was like over my shoulders when I was on the boat. Yeah, it was like trees. Burnout, burnout road right here, brother. It looks so good. Jeez. And plus the entire track got uh, blown off, so it's a lot less gravel and crap on it. It feels good. It's not as dusty. Oh my gosh. You can just tell by the shavings they really were cutting out some serious stuff in there. Wow. So good, man. Oh, there's like a staircase over there. I didn't even see it earlier. Oh yeah. Staircase? <laughs> I had no idea that was there. Bleacher guy gave a very good report. He bleachers. said that structurally our bleachers are in great condition. There are some over here that need to be torn down, but on the good side, they're all in good shape. Uh, they're all safe. He's like, these are 100% good to go besides the wood boards, but he's getting us a quote to switch it all over to aluminum. So cross your fingers, boys, that that doesn't hit us too hard. All right, so just out front looks better. We uh, trimmed up these trees, gotta do those still. Yeah, all these are better. We were almost finished with this crap in here, but we ran out of weed whacker wire. Look at all this. Yeah. You can walk through here. I know. This, this is crazy. Presentable. It is presentable. Look at that. No more bush growing through the fence. Still blowing it out a little bit in there. guys no more weeds going out of the tree yeah, there was weeds across all of it oh. look at this dude i almost wish we would have put like a glass case over like one of the weeds and put like remembered so we still we did a little bit of work under the bleachers got to work more on that but other than that guys freaking got after oh and then this stuff's all loose. We just gotta blow this out still, so. All right, guys, the Dowda and Sons guys are rolling out. They were a huge help today. All right, boys, well, huge progress today. We got a lot of work to do. Again, shout out to Everglades John Deere. You guys should go uh, tell them thank you and that you appreciate them because they set us up for the year. We're really excited. It's going to be a busy week. We got Cletus and Cars in a few days, but uh, we're ready to head to Houston. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. Freaking see you later.